So the cutter I use to make these coasters is with this tool right here, and it's called the NT Circle Cutter Mini 400. I got it at a store called Tokyo Hands here in Japan. Um, it ran me about 500 to 700 yen. Super cheap, super affordable. Um, the only thing about it is because it's cheap or because it's so small, it's kind of hard to get used to at the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, um, I think it's uh, a very good tool for the price. So highly recommend it. All right, um, so to cut out my circles, I will be using this little tool right here. It's really simple to use. There's this little white knob right here. All you do is unscrew it and what will happen is it'll um, give you access to this little razor blade here. And then um, what you do is you can push this razor blade down as far as you need and then at the bottom here it'll expose the blade at the bottom and depending on how thick your leather or whatever material that you're using um, you can adjust how far it comes out of that bottom here so it's a little hard to see here but um, again I just eyeball it roughly to the thickness of the leather that I'm using and then what I'll do is I'll just screw in this white little knob again and then this little brass piece right here will, will help you um, determine how big the circle is so this is just the half of the circle size so because this will be spinning around um, you'll have double this size so I have it on 8.5 so the total size of this coaster or I have an example here um, edge to edge it'll be around 8.5 centimeters so um, and on on this little brass piece right here at the bottom um, if you screw it again it's very hard to see on camera but there's this little um, tip that comes out that helps um, it stay onto the leather and when you're actually cutting the leather it's not slipping around or um, getting loose so but again having this onto the leather it's gonna imprint your leather or your coaster so what I do is I take like a scrap piece of leather and I'll actually just put it the leather like that and then put the brass or the little tip right there push it down make sure it's firm and then what do I do on on the little tool it has an arrow and it's pointing that way so all I do is I'll just start moving my hand this way while having this thumb centered and not moving too much um, but again because well, it's hard to see but I have to switch hands because this arm or this hand right here is in the way. So what I do is I'll just switch my thumb with this one and then continue the cuts. Keep going, going, going. And then I'll do one more spin for safe measures. And then take it off and hopefully it should come over this circle. And then boom, it's done. So that's how I use it and as you can see, it's hard to see again, but there's a little point right there. It makes an imprint. So if I didn't have this, it'd make an imprint right in the middle of this or in this coaster here, but I don't want that. So um, that's the reason why I use this little piece right here. So um, again, I highly recommend this tool. Um, it's the, the cuts are super clean. The, well, again, depending on the, med, the material that you're using, but um, I do highly recommend getting this tool if you're just doing small projects. So um, once you have your circles or your coasters all cut out, um, there's a bunch of things that you can do. One, um, you can just leave it as is and you can just start using them right away. Or um, what you can do is take two and you can glue them together like this so that both sides will have the leather showing. Um, and then from here you can like add the color string that you want around it and stitch it together and have it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing but for today's case I like the fact that it's just plain with nothing around it super simple I'm just gonna add my logo here smooth out the back and then we're gonna call it a day for that so um, I'll show you how I do it all right really simple in order to um, smooth out the the flesh side of the leather all you do is you'll take your leather finish and I'll just use my finger just use about that much and then all I do is I'll just use my finger and just kind of massage it into the flesh and then just make sure to get everywhere. So then I'll get some more. And try to cover the whole area of the coaster.
So once that is done, I'll let that sit for like mm, one or two minutes just so that the, the cream can actually, or the leather can actually absorb the, the leather finish. Once that's sat for one or two minutes, what I'll do is I'll take um, glass or a smooth edge like a piece of wood and what I'll do is I'll just rub it in like this. And this will help me actually, um, so the flesh side is like, it has a lot of fibers on it and what the finish does is it'll smooth it out. So what this piece of wood or this smooth edge will do is flatten those fibers and kind of help me have a smooth finish to the leather or the flesh side of the leather. So. why I use the finisher on there and as you can see like it's gotten a little bit flatter so a little bit flatter so it'll stay a little bit more flush onto the table but again it's not a big deal if it doesn't because when you add your or when you put your cups or your mugs or whatever onto this coaster over time it'll flatten out and it'll be more parallel with the table and because um, I use the razor blade to cut it the edges are kind of like sharp edges so um, to make it a little bit more flush or a little bit more smooth I'm gonna actually use um, some very fine sandpaper and just literally just sand down the edges just to make sure it's um, a little bit more smooth that's done I will get a piece of canvas cloth so I have a canvas cloth right here um, and what I'll do is I'll just rub edges like so and this will help give me that shine and that smooth finish and help me get the finish embedded into the actual coaster so and shiny compared to I don't know how well this is going to show up but this top one right here is the finished one and the bottom one is the untouched one so I hope you guys can see the difference but the top one is nice and smooth and shiny and the bottom one is kind of still rough on the edges but hmm. so yeah so this is basically the finished um, poster but I'm going to add my logo right here and then finish it off to add my logo for the end I have this brass block with my um, logo on it and it says Ted Maker and what I'll do is I'll position it into or onto the middle part of my coaster and then I have this hand press right here and this will go in and I'll press 
down like that and it'll imprint the logo onto the piece of leather. So I'll show you how that's done. guys so this is the finished product um, it's super simple to make super easy and if you guys are ever looking to get in, into crafting or leather crafting in specific um, I do highly recommend just trying to make a coaster or um, it doesn't even have to be a circle you can just cut out a square and just have it like that super simple to make and I think it's a great addition to your kitchen table or your coffee table um, or even as gifts if you want to give it to friends and family I think it's a great idea um, I hope you guys like the video I do apologize if some of my explanations were confusing or the camera angles were a little bit off it is my first time making a video with trying to talk and trying to film at the same time but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it have a good day